Hello. Let me see if I can play with this thing a little bit. Hello. Hello. Mm -mm, I ain't even finna do this. I don't even know what all that is. I am going to start. Let me just type this up. Hello, I'm trying to wave back. You know, me and this thing is not, uh, <laughs> I'm not good on here yet. I used to be like really, really, really good when I was on Facebook, but I'm not on Facebook anymore like that. Not really, just sometimes to say hi. Anyways, hello, hello, hello. Listen, I know many of you probably are busy on this self-care Saturday is like in the middle of the afternoon. And so a lot of you may have to catch the replay, the replay. But because my eyes like kind of close at a certain time of the day, um, I thought <laughs> I would go ahead and come on now and share my live before I fall asleep and then wake up late and be looking strange in the face. Because I told y'all 30 minutes has really actually been like over um, an hour, hour and a half, but that's neither here or there. I'm here now. I'm here now. So hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Listen, I have not seen y'all in a couple of weeks because my co-partner slash AKA sister who joins me on Saturday has been um, having some games, her, her daughter's uh, cheer. So they've been having like some banquets and some games and some things going on. So I haven't been on with her. She's been kind of busy doing mom stuff, wife stuff. And then on Thursday, on Thursday, I've had a few sessions um, that went over. And so I have not been able to join you guys on Thursday. And so I thought I would come on today and say hello hello i miss you guys and share some information with you guys share some news with you guys listen i just got word i just got word that i have a cure for my wives who are in difficult uh seasons of their marriages right now i have a cure for you i have a cure for you and I also have a cure for my single ladies, for my single ladies who are in a season of like, when is this going to happen for me? Like, when is it going to be my time? Like, what do I need to do to get to my next? Because I'm tired of this. And I have a cure for you guys today. I have a cure for you guys today. And so I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about that um, on this live. I won't keep you too long. My name is Coach T. I am a marriage and life coach, but on this page, I am his wife coach. I am his wife coach. And so you guys probably have seen this a few times. This is one of my booklets to my five weeks uh, programs called Her Boniency Boost, Her Boniency Boost. And I want to talk to you today about um, a three-part purpose a three-part purpose um so i'm gonna kind of walk backwards to forward it's gonna be kind of like backwards to forward so i can get my point across and kind of get you to understand where i'm going when i share all this information and whatever with you all right so like i mentioned on this page i am his wife on this page i am his wife but on my google page and on my other um instagram page i am a marriage coach i'm a marriage coach i am a wedding efficient and so, um, with that being said, I do, uh, different things as far as putting, you know, um, bundles together for my couples. I put bundles together for my couples. And so since I just finished, um, I did three, I had three of my 30 day, uh, programs going on. I, I, I just finished three of those, uh, on my 30 day workshops. And so basically what I found out is that 
once that 30 days is over, once that 30 days is over, the ladies are still wanting to do more. They're still wanting to do more. But what I have noticed, what I have noticed when I am doing um, a specific program where it, whether it is her buoyancy boost, whether it is a his wife or whether it is a forward, um, what I've noticed is we may be doing her buoyancy boost or we may be doing um, uh, a his wife and we should really be doing a, a her buoyancy boost. We may be in the middle of a, a 30 day of, you know, his wife sessions and really the his wife should have taken the her buoyancy boost first, the her buoyancy boost, the her buoyancy boost first. And so I want to walk you through when you go to my web page, if you were to pull up my web page, the first thing you're going to see is, you know, of course me. But you're going to also basically um, read my background as far as being a marriage and what an efficient. All right. And so what I what my transformation looked like for couples in that sense was I wanted to be able to one premarital counseling, premarital counseling. So I want to start off by doing we do a premarital evaluation. And that turns into a uh, premarital counseling. From premarital counseling, you do your premarital um, check-ins. From premarital check-ins, then you get married. Once you get married, you wait um, a couple of months or so after you get married, then you do your marriage check-in. And that's all part of my healthy plan of keeping the marriage healthy or keeping the marriage healthy. So it's premarital evaluation. This is kind of like see where you are, see what you, you know, if this marriage is this if this relationship should pursue marriage or if you guys should need to go on about your business go on about your business okay once you decide okay yeah well we want to go ahead and pursue um marriage we're going to go ahead and get engaged now we're going to do our premarital counseling we're going to do our premarital or coaching and um, we're going to do our premarital coaching so you do your premarital coaching for your six weeks okay now we've done our premarital coaching what's next you wait about a month and now you do your premarital check-ins until you get married until you get married once you get married you wait uh um uh, a month maybe two months and then you do your marriage check-ins you do your marriage check-ins and you basically do your marriage check-ins and this is what help keeps the flow and maintain a healthy marital covenant so that's how i have my marriage slash what an efficient program going as far as that part of my business all right that's part as far as far as that part of my business and so what i decided and what i discovered i need to do the same exact thing for my ladies i need to do the same exact thing for my ladies now listen let me pause for a moment i know you guys see the shirt forward 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 yes we're moving forward like I have mentioned on several of my platforms, and I've also shared here that I am offering a four-week forward um, life coaching course for, um, this is for man or woman, for a man or woman, anyone who's in a place where they're ready to make some purpose decisions, some earthly purpose decisions where they're ready to say, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't got healed. I'm, I'm, I'm healthy enough. And I got my mind right. I, I'm on the right track now. I'm trying to get things going into a forward direction. I want to know what my purpose is here on earth. I want to know what it is I'm supposed to be doing. I want to pursue my purpose here on earth. This is what my forward sessions are all about. My forward sessions. And I have a t-shirt for you. I have a t-shirt for you. Now, it also comes with the Ford book. Listen, so I'm a teacher by nature. Like, so my background is um, the church. All right. So I was a Sunday school teacher. I did the baptism um, uh, teaching. I was a, um, you know, I did a whole lot of stuff with the marriage, you know, with the marriage ministry. But I was a I was a Sunday school teacher. And so basically when you get coaching with Coach T, you're going to get the teaching part of Coach T as well. All right. And so I love books. I love books and I love giving things away when I have my four weeks. I don't just let you just come and just pay me. OK. And, and I sit with you and talk with you. No, we're going to talk. We're going to learn. We're going to you know, we're going to go into some things and I give you um, a book. And so. The forward t-shirt and book comes together. It comes together as a part of your four-week course. It's part of your four-week course. And so that's just something I want to share with you. So that is still going on, that promotion. Like I said, that is for a man or a woman who is looking to make some decisions moving forward as far as pursuing your um, pursuing your 
Um, I'm, I'm not going to try to read the comments and talk because I'm going to get confused. Um, <laughs> but as far as you pursuing your um, earth assignment, your earth assignment, that is what four is all about. That is what four is all about. And so I wanted to bring it to your attention as I break down her bonus to this. All right. So originally, like I said, I t most of the time I talk in, in, in coach um, wise. I, I, I coach wise. A lot of times people come to me because of um, my background as a as a wife, my my background history as, you know, working with wives. That's what my um, my area is on this page. And so, like I said, what I have discovered that her buoyancy boost needs to be the first place, the first place that the wife go to. Now, a lot of times, again, when you come to me, you will say, oh, well, my husband is, uh, you know, cheating or, oh, my husband is not in the house or, oh, my husband, you know, is doing this thing or whatever. So a lot of times the first, the first, um, thing that you bring to my attention is about your marriage. It's about your marriage. I have no information or no history about your background, what you got going on, going on, any type of traumas or anything, or past experiences that you experienced. I don't know any of that information. I don't know any of that information. And so normally I do a assessment, a, an assessment. I do a wife assessment and I send you over some questions to ask some information from you before we proceed to your sessions, before you proceed to your sessions. What I have discovered, what I have discovered is that a lot of times when we get about a week or two into the his wife sessions, I have discovered that we really should have went through her buoyancy boost first, her buoyancy boost first. Now, this is all optional. This is all optional. I'm not saying that you have to do her buoyancy boost first. What I'm saying is it would be better for you to do her buoyancy boost first. And so I put together a little graph and it's not for you guys to read because I know it's going to be kind of confusing, but I want you to kind of see what I'm looking down at. And so I put together a graph on, uh, you know, the steps. And like I say, it's kind of like similar to what I do with my marriage couples, um, but I want to do it for my individuals. I want to do it for my individual ladies. All right. And so you have the option. You have the option of doing her buoyancy boost. Her buoyancy boost is your first place that's your first place and that's your healing spot that's your healing spot all right that's for single ladies and that's for wives either one either one like I said I noticed in my wife's sessions that instead of us doing a his wife session we should have did a her bonusy boost session first and then did the his wife session okay so the first place you want to start at is with her bonusy boost your her bonusy boost is your self-care soul care healing journey all right it is your self-care soul care healing journey this is the area where i kind of go down in depth with you we pull out some information from your past we pull out some information of what's going on with you we pull out information about what's going on with your mama and them we pull out some information about your background how you you know how you was brought up how you was raised you know we pull out those types of things because what we want to do is touch and get rid of any type of injuries any type of wounds any type of pains any type of whatever that you may be dealing with we want to deal with those things first we want to deal with those things first the bible talks about um us examining our own hearts our, examining our own hearts and it's not so much about us looking at the other person not giving no no excuse for the, the the spouse that may be doing things wrong or not making an excuse for the spouse that may be, you know, going off or going astray or whatever. But my first place to deal with the the wife or the single or the single lady is examining yourself, examining yourself. And that's where her bonus would come in. This is why I drive this. This is why I bring this up at least two or three times a week that sign up for your her buoyancy boost. Sign up for your her buoyancy boost. Man, if you go to my Google page, I just got one of the young ladies she um just finished up and I had another young lady who um also just finished up both of them. Both of them made me proud as a coach. Made me proud as a coach because I love to see how you start off and then the transformation that takes place over the five weeks and it's nothing that coach t does but just be used as god's vessel okay all i do is be used as, God, as god's vessel and i let the holy spirit does do his part i let the holy spirit do his part i'm not one of those coaches who you know you have listen i know i'm jumping all over the place but i gotta put this out there all right 
man, <laughs> you have so many coaches on here. Like this is Instagram is like coach land. All right. It's like coach land. And I'm not knocking nobody hustle. I'm not knocking nobody brand. I'm not knocking anybody what you do as a coach. You know, I apply all of us. We all out here trying to do our very, very best. All right. <laughs> we are here trying to do our very, very best. Some of these coaching packages um, are extremely expensive. Oh my God, they are extremely expensive. And I think I heard one coach say that, you know, um, sometimes, you know, clients come on and feel like they're being manipulated or they come on and feel like, you know, I've been bamboozled. And she made a very good point when she said, you know, the only, um, the only, way that you're being bamboozled or manipulated is if what they offer you or what they sold to you does not work. What they offer to you or what they sold to you does not work. But then it's like, okay, so what if I do it? And then it does not work. <laughs> it does not work, right? And so this is why I feel like it is so important. It is so important that you don't only just do your her buoyancy boost, but you do the next steps as well. You do the next steps as well. Her Bonnie Taboo's journey is a self-care, soul care journey. It's five weeks. It's five weeks. This is about healing. This is about reestablishing you. This is about reestablishing your faith. This is about um, uh, knowing you from a different perspective. This is about accepting what life has uh, uh, have thrown you, all right? This is what Her Bonnie Taboo's is about. Her Bonnie Taboo's is about getting you back from that rocky place. This is it. whatever life had thrown at you, have knocked you down, have um, um, tried to keep you in a low place. Her buoyancy boost is there to pick you up to help you get back on the right track. That is what her buoyancy boost is, is about. Okay. Now the second set, the second set, which is four weeks, which is four weeks, and this is either for the for the single lady, it would be the pre wife, and for the married lady, it would be the his wife. All right. The single lady is preparing for her assignment to be his wife. All right. And then the married lady, of course, is returning back to her assignment, healthy, whole, authentic, emotionally stable. She's turning now back to her assignment as his wife to proceed with what she's supposed to do as his wife. And that's another four weeks. And so for four weeks, I journey with the single lady and prepare you to be a wife. I teach you different roles about a wife. I teach you the spiritual side of the marital covenant. I teach you and, and, and share with you about different things that a, a wife's supposed to do and supposed not do. It's um it's like a mentoring um for those four weeks. That's what for for the single ladies. It's it's like a mentoring um program for those four weeks. All right. Then for the his wife, for the his wife, we address whatever marital wound that you were dealing with. We address whatever situation that you had going on in your marital um relationship in the first place whatever you was dealing with whatever hard thing that you was dealing with in your in your marriage we address those issues we help you get back on track and love your husband the way God will want you to love your husband love your husband the way God love your husband all right so his wife is basically it's also a mentoring as well but I teach you strategies I give you a formula on how to work out the best plan for you in your marriage in your marriage everything is um to, it depends on that specific person. No one person, I don't give like the same his wife session for every single wife. No, I don't do that because I can't because <laughs> everybody has different situations and different things going on in their marriage. This person may be dealing with adultery. This person may be dealing with communication issue. This person may be dealing with, you know, a spouse that's not home. This person may be dealing with a spouse who is home is getting on their last nerves. So everybody's situation is different. Everybody's situation is different. So the his wife is very unique for the his wife because you get your telemade uh, session um, strategy that works for you. All right. Now the pre-wife, the pre-wife is, is, is kind of like the same because I'm teaching you how to be his wife. I'm preparing you for how to be his wife. I'm asking you those hard questions. Are you ready to be a wife? What if this happened? How do you handle this situation? I'm giving you different scenarios. So this is what the pre-wife is. And this is the second part. And I call this part of your journey recovery. It's recovery because we done did the healing with the heart buoyancy boost. And then we come down to this part and it's your recovery stage. It's your recovery stage. And basically we're, we're recovering all those, uh, um, um, uh, things that you you learned um as you know growing up oh a, a wife supposed to be this way you know you know a wife supposed to act like this and a wife supposed to be doing this and if a husband do this you're supposed to be doing this so we're getting rid of we're renewing your mind we are recovering you from all those old uh things that you have learned in the past all those old things you've seen your mama them do your auntie them do your cousins them over there do we are getting rid of that garbage we are getting rid of that garbage and we are renewing our minds we're renewing our minds all right and so that's what the uh pre-wife 
slash his wife uh, sessions are about. And that's a four week session. That's a four week session. All right. And then we come to the third one, which is the forward, the forward. And by the time you get to the forward place, by the time you get to the forward place, you are now ready to, because doing the hard buoyancy boost, doing your mentor, I do mention to you purpose both times. I mentioned to you purpose both times. But by the time you get to forward, forward is helping you and preparing you for your purpose here on earth. You're not just a wife. You're not just a, a individual. You're, you're, you're here on earth for a specific purpose. You're here on earth for a specific purpose. And that is what forward does. For is helping you get on track, whatever it is that you need to get on track so you can move forward with your earth's purpose, with your earth's purpose. And that's it. And that's it. That part is called growth. That part is called growth. So we have healing, her buoyancy boosts. We have recovery, either you pre-wife, if you're a single lady, or his wife, if you're a married lady. And then we have uh, growth, which is forward, forward, forward. Three parts to this, three parts to this. Now, the reason why I say this is because when I am dealing with my um, married couples and say they had a injury, they had an injury in the marital um, relationship. When they, they have an injury in their marital relationship, I come to them. I have a booklet. I have a booklet for all my for all my programs that I offer. Um, but I come to them and I explain to them in the beginning, in the beginning, if I cannot help you after three months, I am not the coach for you. If I have not made some type of impact in your life after three months, I am not the coach for you. All right. I'm not the coach for you. Now, I said that to say, if you have gone through her buoyancy boost, if you have gone through the pre-wife, his wife sessions, if you have gone to forward and you have not been impacted or nothing has happened to change um, in, in that in that time frame, then I'm not the coach for you. I'm not the coach for you. Now, you do play a part in that. You do play a role in that. You can't just come here and just not do anything. You have to do your part too. And a lot of times people get coaching and counseling and therapy mixed up. Okay. And it's not the same thing. It is not the same thing. I'm not a counselor. I'm not a therapist. I am a coach. I'm a coach. So that means I'm going to make you do work. <laughs> I'm going to make you do work. We're not going to just sit here and just talk, 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 talk. We're going to talk. We're going to do some things. We're going to do some, we're going to practice some, you know, practice some skills. We're going to do some practical things. We're going to do those kind of things. I'm going to give you a whole lot of resources. I'm going to give you a whole lot of tools to use. I'm going to do all those things, but you're going to actually have to do some work. Part of being a um, marriage and life coach is I have to give you some type of accountability for what I'm sharing with you and, and what we're talking about and what and what is going on. So you can so I can know that you will actually get what I'm saying. And I ain't just here talking to you, wasting your time, you wasting my time, and it, somebody else can be in your spot. All right. And so I offer that for my ladies. I offer that for my ladies. If you are interested in any of Coach T's buoyancy sessions, any of the buoyancy sessions, whether it's his wife, whether it's her buoyancy booze, whether it's pre-wife or whether it's forward, I will highly, highly, highly recommend that you take them all together, that you take them all together. Now, that's just say, okay, I've been doing this for five weeks. I need a break. I give you a week break. I give you a week break. And the reason I say a week break, because if you take off too long from doing it, what's going to happen is you're going to get lazy. You're going to get, you know, settled in. Oh, I don't want to do it no more. Oh, I and you need to keep going. It's almost like a person who's going to school. Now, I know they get these kids a lot of days out of school. Okay. We ain't going to even talk about that. <laughs> they get these kids a lot of days out of school. All right. But I look at it like a weekend, okay? I would give you a week off to get yourself together, to have you recuper you know, recuperate, to come back to where you need to come back to, and then we're going to get back up and start again, all right? You want to get back up and start again because you want to keep going. You want to get it while it's fresh. You want to get it while it's hot. You want to get it while you're in that, in, that, in that space. Listen, it's a time for everything. It's a time in a season for everything. It's a time in a season for everything. And so don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable with just doing that one thing. Now, I said to say... In all of my almost 16 years of marriage <laughs> and all of that and all my uh, 16 years of uh, being a wife, I have learned uh, a, a, a few things. OK, I have learned a few things. All right. And the first thing I have learned is you have to have to have to take care of you. If you don't take care of you, you're not going to be take care of him and them. OK, 
you have to take care of you. You have to take care of you first. And sometimes that means making that, uh, uh, putting that that time to the side, dedicating 12 weeks to work on you. Like I want to, I'm going to dedicate 12 weeks and work on me. I'm going to take this time out and, and, and really work on me. It's really not 12, it's really 13 weeks. All right. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but it's really, you know, it's three, it's three weeks, it's three months and, and one week. All right. You take that time out and you work on you. I've learned that. I've learned that. I've learned that. The second thing I've learned, I can't take care of me on my own. I need God to take care of me. I need God to help me in this process. I need God to walk with me on this journey. I need God to show me how to do this. I need God to show me how to be a wife. I need God to show me how to be a mother. I need God to show me how to be kind sometimes. Yes. Okay. I need God to show me how to be a friend. I need God to show me how to be a sister, how to be a daughter, because we are all human. We are all human. We are all human and we make mistakes and things happen and we have our days and you know, we have those moments. And so listen, just like I coach and, 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 and sit down with, with other individuals, um, and, and do coaches. Listen, coach T had to take that time out too. When I come on here and talk about self-care, I am straight on dead on it. Serious about it. I don't play about self-care because I know. I know those were the two things, self-care and soul care, that God used to help me in a season where I was going through a hard time in my marriage. And I thought I was going to be like, um, I probably did a couple times and came back, but you know, God's grace, honey, God's grace. <laughs> God's grace brought me on through. And so I don't play when it comes down to self-care, soul care. I do not do coaching on my own. I do, I do not do coaching on my own. I let the Holy Spirit come in and, and do and do this for us and walk us and guide us and just use me how he want me to, you know, how he want to use me. And he give me a structure to go by and we go with that. Okay, we go with that. And so I don't want to discourage you if you say, okay, well, I don't want to do all, you know, 12 weeks at one time. How much is it going to be? It's going to be a whole lot of money. Da, 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 da. Listen, all three of my, uh, my programs that I just mentioned to you, all three of those programs is under $1,200. All three of those programs put together is under twelve hundred dollars, which brings me back to some of these prices these coaches be charging. Okay, I'm not saying that people are not trying to get their bag. I'm not saying that you know people are not trying to get their paper. They're trying to get their money, and everybody is on different journeys. Me, I'm a part time coach. I'm not a full time coach. So maybe for a part time coach, yes, you have to go after it like that. But for me, I'm a part time coach. I can only see a certain amount of clients in a week's time, in a month's time. So I, I get it. I'm not on here to do that. I'm not on here to do that. But I'm saying as far as me, I'm one of those type of individuals where if I'm not going to be willing to pay that money to anyone, then I'm not going to charge you for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to charge you a, an amount that I ain't going to pay. Like, you pay how much for that? I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. But I do know the importance of investing to yourself, investing to yourself. Um, I always share with my clients, especially my, my single ladies. One of the things that I used to look forward to back in the day when me and my husband was not living in the same home. We wasn't living in the same home. Listen, I have, I have, I have two pennies. Okay. I have two pennies, but somehow, somehow God made sure that I had my hair taken, did, my, my hair did every week. Somehow I had my eyebrows did every week. Somehow I got my nails did. I don't know what I'm going to came from Hell, most of the time. Most of the time it just, it just showed up. Okay. Um, I am a tithe, a, a tither. I know that probably has something to do with it too. Um, I, I am a tither. I, I believe in the in the in the tenth. But um, I don't know how I did a lot of things when my husband was not here. But God made a way, and one of the things He made sure that I did because that was important for me. That was important to me was get your hair done, get your get your eyebrows did, go get your nails did, go put something on nice. Don't be walking around here looking like a toe down person, even though you feeling toe down on the inside. You don't gotta look like it. Okay, <laughs> you do not have to look like what you feel like. So that is a biggie for me. That is a biggie for me. So listen, 12 weeks may not be something that you can do at this time. Maybe you say, no, I'm going to just break mine down. I'm going to do it piece by piece. I'm going to do it little bit by little bit. However, whatever, whatever works for you. I just wanted to bring that to your attention to allow you an opportunity to um, have that option where you can take all three. I call it the threefold purpose, the threefold purpose. All right. Get your healing recovery, grow. 
get your healing, recovery, grow. And then after you have done your three weeks and you've got your healing, you're growing and, and things are going good for you, then just check in once a month. Check in as needed. Check in every, you know, every couple of months, you whatever. You know, I feel like everybody needs a life coach. Everybody needs a life coach. I have a life coach, okay? I have a life coach. Yes, Jesus is my life coach, but I actually have a person as a life coach. And I don't have to see her on, um, as much as I did before, as much as I did when me and my husband um, was separated. But because um, I got to a healthy place. I got to a better place. I kept on walking with God. I kept on walking my journey out. I didn't just stop at her buoyancy booth. I didn't just stop at the his wife. I didn't just stop at the forward. And this is why forward is so important. I want to talk to you about forward. Forward is not just I'm a wife or I'm planning to be a wife or I'm going to be a mama or no. Forward is about what did God place you here on earth to do? What are you supposed to be doing in this life while here on earth? God always, always, always spoke to me and he told me, you're going to be a wife coach. You're going to be a wife coach. I said, I want to be a wife coach. I want to be a marriage coach. <laughs> And God used to tell me, you're going to be a wife coach. You're going to be a wife coach. So when I started doing marriage, I said, okay. Well, maybe God meant I was supposed to be a marriage coach. Like, you know, I'm supposed to be a marriage coach. Because I know, I know exactly what I said to you. You're going to be a wife coach. You're going to be a wife coach. I didn't understand what that meant. Now I understand what that means. When God tells you something, that's exactly what he means. And he's going to make sure that thing come to pass. Okay. And so I want to encourage you to sign up, sign up for your sessions. Do not allow this year to end without getting yourself right. Do not let this year, this year end without preparing for what you want to do next. Listen, I still have some His Wife shirts. My His Wife shirts, they um, are still available. But these also come with your um, four weeks His Wife. I, listen, Coach T, this, probably, this is probably because of my church days and me being a, you know, a volunteer, a minister in the, in the church I used to go to. They, they always um, had packages and stuff that they gave away for the people. And so I kind of like took that with me. I am a giver. I am a giver. So if you coach with me, you're going to get something from me. I can't, I'm, I'm just not that type of coach where I'm just taking, 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 and, and, and I'm not, and I'm not give you anything. And so I put together a care pack for each one of my programs. Her Bunyancy Boots has a care pack. The pre-wife has a care pack. The his wife has a care pack and the forward has a care pack. But I do sell because the his wife t-shirts are also part of my um his wife movement, which is my is which is my ministry, my, my my ministry. So my business is connected to my ministry, but because it is a business, I have to get paid for it. And sometimes I think people don't understand that because they look at you like, well, you 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 the church lady, you the church. I am the church lady, but I'm saw I'm also a business lady, so I got to get paid for the part of the business. Okay, but I am still um, the church lady as well. But you can always, always support. You can donate, even if you don't like, you know, you don't like the shirt or you don't necessarily want the shirt for yourself or whatever. Donate, donate. You can always donate, donate. And I, and I say donate, I say donate to the His Wife movement because that is what I use that money to uh, have free events for my wife. That's that's what that is for. I have free events for my wife. So I'm always promoting my um, His Wife t-shirts. But if you ever sign up for a His Wife session, you're going to get a t-shirt automatically. You're going to get a t-shirt automatically. All right. And so listen, I hope that has been helpful. I hope that has been, um, you know, I hope you guys, you know, understood it to a, to a place where, um, it's time for us to be about our father's business, all right? It's time for us to heal. It's time for us to recover. It is time for us to grow. It is time for us to get to what it is that God wants us to get. No more is it about just sitting around doing the same mundane thing day in and day out. No, we got work to do. We got work to do. You have to heal so you can go and help somebody else. Did you hear what I just said? You have to heal so you can go and help somebody else. God does not want you to just heal and sit on that. He wants you to heal and do what, what you have to do next. He wants you to heal and go help somebody else. He wants you to get right so you can, he wants you to recover so you can go help somebody else recover. He wants you to get right in your marriage so you can go help somebody else in their marriage. I'm telling you, this is what this is. This is what this is. God is faithful. God is faithful. And so many people think, oh, this is the end of the world. It's going to be over 
this is it. God, like, I'm just getting started. I don't know what I'm looking ahead talking about, but I'm just getting started, all right? So, listen, sign up. Sign up for your sessions today. Sign up for your sessions today. You can always visit me on my Google page. On my Google page, I have all of my services that I offer as a marriage and life coach. All of my services that I offer. I know sometimes when you go to my... um my Instagram page, you don't see necessarily everything that I do as a coach, but my Google page, my Google page, which is underneath my business is buoyancy premarital and marital life coaching. Um, buoyancy premarital and marital life coaching. You can search me by Google that way. Um, and if you are interested in a his wife, pre wife, her buoyancy boost forward session, sign up, sign up for your sessions today at marriage chronicles by Tanika.com. That is marriage chronicles by Tanika.com. I want to get these shirts in your hand. I want to um get this book in your hand. I have a book that go with my his wife. Um the his wife let me just before I hang up with y'all, before I hang up, <laughs> before I stop this this live, the his wife is personal. All right, two, it's two things on here that is most dear, deep to my heart, and very, very personal. And that is my pre wife, um, my um premarital sessions, and my his wife. Okay, my premarital sessions and my his wife. Like when you sign up for those, that is listen. Those are my babies. Those are my babies because of those are the two areas where the enemy. Uh, attacked me the most in my marriage. He attacked me the most. He attacked me going in my marriage because I didn't take premarital counseling and I wanted to take premarital counseling, but my husband didn't want to take it. And so because he didn't want to take it, I didn't do it. And that's why I pre I do the pre wife for my single ladies who this whose spouses necessarily don't want to do the um uh, uh premarital counseling. That's why I offer the pre wife for that. So my wife sessions, um, those are my babies. Those are my babies. And then as a wife, then as a wife, I came into the marital covenant with no idea, with no plan, with no goal, with no no. I ain't know. I ain't know what I was doing. I was just doing. I just oh, I want to be married. I, I want to be married. I ain't know about no assignments. I ain't know this man gonna be acting like this some days. I ain't know I was gonna be acting like this. Then these kids came along. I'm like oh. oh, oh. Uh uh-uh. uh, <laughs> I know what I was doing, and so those areas, I that's my that's my baby, that's my baby, and then her buoyancy boost. That's the that's that's the cherry on the top. Her buoyancy boost. Her buoyancy boost is me. That is that is me because that is what the Lord did for me. He gave me that buoyancy back. He gave he helped me to stay on top when everything around me was pulling me down. He helped me to maintain when I was like, oh my God, I ain't gonna make it. He helped me to keep going forward when everything was coming for me, trying to take me out. So when I speak and come on here and talk about her buoyancy boost, listen, baby, I'm talking about Coach T. Coach T had to walk through that. I know what it is i know what it is to have to suffer through something and 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 not know what to do or how to do or how to get out of it i know what that feels like and so i just want to throw that out there to put that you know on on, on spotlight her buoyancy boost premarital and the wife sessions those are my babies those are my babies those are my babies everything else is my babies too but those are my it's like it's kind of like your firstborn versus your you know the other ones <laughs> kids don't hear this i'm like oh mama picky mama picky no but it's something about your first one versus your second third one fourth one you know down the line my mama had seven kids so you know i'm the oldest so i can i can say stuff like that so it's something about that that first one it's something about that first one so um the the my you might as well say her bonus boost the his wife the pre-wife and the premaritals i had i had a quadruple thing going on there that was that was my quad that happened right there and then everything else you know was next but those right there are my on my baby so listen thank you guys for your time as always i hope you guys are having a beautiful saturday as you plan and prepare for this christmas season listen don't go out there and spend all your money because i went out there but just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of time, just a little bit of time. And I came right back to the house because I, I wasn't going to do it. They're not going to take out my money this year. They're not going to do that. So don't give them your money. Listen, take that money and invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Do something for you. Do something for you that you can look back and say, I did that for me. I did that for me. I will never forget the, the young guy 
who I um coach him and his his um his girlfriend and how he um said he invested into himself and you don't hear guys talk like that you don't hear guys say stuff like that he said I made a decision to invest in me I made a decision to invest in me and a lot of times people think investment means okay I'm gonna go on and do this exercise plan and I'm not knocking it and that's and that's great if you want to do exercise do exercise you know I'm not I'm not saying that's a bad thing but invest in you meaning get you right get you get yourself right get your mind right don't be so quick always say oh it's him it's him it's him it could be you it might not be him it might be you <laughs> so get yourself right make that investment in yourself and see what it is that god wants to say to you concerning your life concerning what's going on with you and then see how he want to heal you and, and 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 bring some things back to your you know to your remembrance so you can heal from those errors and recover and grow and do what it is that he's called you here on earth to do it is time to move forward listen Y'all have a great afternoon. Blessings. Yep. Yeah.